Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, another interesting uh, area where we make use of percentage a lot is discounts. Now you would have often come across malls or shopping places where you would have seen that you are given discounts on the marked price of the article. For example, you have this t-shirt. So maybe the MRP on the t-shirt or the marked price on the t-shirt could be uh, say rupees 300. So it says that the t-shirt costs rupees 300. So that's the tag says. But you have a discount on that price. So let's say that the discount in price for this t-shirt is rupees 150. So that is discount in price. So discount in price is rupees 150. So in that case, how much would you pay for the t-shirt? Because the marked price on the t-shirt, marked price is basically the price which is mentioned on that particular article. So if you look at any item, whether it is a t-shirt or it is uh, a shampoo or it is uh, some, some grocery item, anything would have an MRP marked on its packet. So how much would you pay the marked price that is 300 minus the discount price. So basically you need to pay only rupees 150. So here I have mentioned the discount in price. Now there is an alternative way to express discount. For example, you can also express discount in percentage. So instead of saying that there was a discount of rupees 150, you can say that there was a discount of 50% on this t-shirt. So in that case, what does it mean? It means that 50% on the marked price is the discount. So how much is 50% of the marked price? 50% of 300 which is 50 by 100 into 300 so this 0 0 will cancel so 150 so th from this from the percentage itself you can calculate how much is the discount in price so once you have calculated the discount in price then you can easily find out how much you have to pay so you pay 150 rupees so these are basically two ways of expressing the discount either you can express discount in price or you can express the discount in percentage. So discount is always equal to the marked price minus the sale price. So if you have to find out the discount in price, what would that be? That would be the marked price minus how much you pay. So what do we pay? We pay that is the sale price. Now the uh, the shopkeeper sells the t-shirt to us. So whatever we pay to the shopkeeper is the sale price. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.